to the Atlas. Welcome to Star Trek Online. So, quick thing. Two two things, actually. First, I'd like to go before uh, we get into the rest of this episode. First thing, this is my first video to put up on YouTube. And so, I put that as a warning to know that it's likely going to have some issues. It's going to be, I don't know, awkward. But hey, it's all the fun and joys of trying to be a YouTuber, so uh, come along, join, laugh, mock me, whatever you want. We're all here to have fun. So, second thing, I have actually already done this recording once and it didn't record, so this is take two. Hopefully everything goes smoothly this time. So, without further ado, quick, uh, look quickly before while we head up to something interesting, like these Borg here. I have not played Star Trek Online for about two, three years-ish. So this character and everything here is all rather old. As you can see, I still have these old, uh, whatchamacallit, samples and all that. And I have even more sitting, cluttering up my bank. And so, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff that I have yet to learn and figure out. And a lot of stuff that you're gonna be witnessing me try to work my way through. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully I enjoy it. Hopefully we get to see some hilarious fails and maybe me die a few times. Just have fun overall. So yeah, let's get into this Borg encounter. Here we go. Whoa, big ship in my face. Warning, ship is under attack. There we go. How should I do this? See if we can find something else. That was too easy. Yeah, guys, just to uh, give you a perspective. Like I said, I've already uh, recorded this once, or at least attempted to record it once. But uh, to give you a perspective on how long it's been since I uh, last played this, this entire map didn't used to be like this. I'm used to it now because, of course, I've played it a bit. But beforehand, like, these six sectors were one sector block. 
these were one sector block, and so forth. And so you had load times in between all of them, so I'm traveling all the way up here, all the way down there. That was, that was a long trip. And you had to go through load screen after load screen, just to get from one place to another. Not only that, right around here, I think it might have been in the Taniba system. There's the old uh, memory alpha. I don't see it there. Not only that, you see this screen. This is new. I mean, beforehand you did all this stuff at memory alpha. But now you get your. these duty officers? Yeah. Falshiar. Ah, oh, these are those Romulan guys, aren't they? Ah, here we go, we're alone now. I should not have spoken, should I? I like do full impulse. Tell me in the comments, can you still even get this obelisk? I mean, the obelisk carrier got it from mission. Uh, not that one. Let's see, this screen is all. Got it from Sphere of Influence. I think that was the one. You could go through and. You actually use this thing in the mission, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful ship, and it actually gave you the ship at the end of the mission. But, I uh, saw my dad do this same, I got the same mission on the Xbox version, and it did not give him the option to take the ship. It gave the option to get this thing, the Ancient Omnidirectional Beam Array. 
but nothing towards actually getting the ship itself. So yeah, let me know that in the comments if you guys know if you can still get the obelisk. It's a beautiful carrier, as you can see. Nothing like having an Iconian ship for yourself. Don't necessarily like having my things glitch out on me. I don't have that second monitor on here yet. So I can't quite monitor. Ah, get it. Monitor. <laughs> I just, I just. I can't quite monitor what my recording is doing while I'm playing. This ship is be slow. You get a weird orange glowy cloud around here. Be sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe for when I hopefully get more videos like this one up. So, I guess that is all for now. I shall see you next time.